you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? No, oh my no. God, that dude! Let me, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. You know, we were in the room together a couple times. I couldn't speak to him. Jada's my heart. You know what I mean? She would be my friend for my whole life. It was beyond friendship for us. You know. And I was <laughs> deeply, deeply insecure, and just I, I wasn't man enough to handle that really. I was the soft rapper from Philly, and he was pop. It would have gone bad, yeah. and we both instinctually knew We that. knew that, and there was a period where mommy woke up and cried 45 days straight. I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. As soon as he approached me, he was like a magnet. It was like once, once you paid attention to him, he kind of sucked you in. Pac was probably one of the first male figures that I had in my life that saw the beauty and the talent and my intelligence separated from sex. That's something that a child, a, a young girl, usually gets from their father. I didn't have that. He would tell me all the time, Jada, you're going to be a star. You know what I mean? I'm like, Pac, come on. He's like, you're going to be a star. You got it. You just got it. I was the soft rapper from Philly, and he was hot. in the car and I had Jada's number. I called Jada. I said, hey, Jada, what's up? It's Will. So are you seeing anybody? She said, uh, no. I said, cool, you're seeing me now. As I was coming out of the life, he was going more into the life. There was a point in which we met and then we kind of were going our separate ways. He would be my friend. For my whole life. She can have my one heart, my, my liver, my lungs, all of that. But she just loved him like he was the image of perfection. But she was with the Fresh Prince. We were in the room together a couple times. I couldn't speak to him. He wasn't going to speak to me if I wasn't going to speak to him. She right. was like, I'm telling you, y'all are so similar. You will you will love him. And I just never, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it, you know. My mother knocks on the hotel door. Will opens the door. As soon as I see her face, I knew he was gone. I feel that he left me. I really did believe that he was going to be here for the long run. The type of relationship we had, you only get that once in a lifetime. Deeply, deeply insecure and just, I, I wasn't man enough to handle that relationship. I had, you know, all these grand ambitions of what I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. And I worked out and I got my body crazy and I did everything I could do to be the biggest movie star in the world. Externally, our family was winning, right? And there was a period where mommy woke up and cried 45 days straight. I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. I was failing miserably. But on the outside, I was winning. Like, I remember saying, like, I built this house for you. And she said, you built this house for you. Yeah. And I was like. <laughs> but it was devastating for me to accept that I built the house for me. Yep. What I realized is I was building a picture. I had spent so many years of my life building up Will Smith trying to prove something. So then I made the shift. Watch people, because you can fake for a long time, but one day you're going to show yourself to be a phony. Yes, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what these, you know, a lot of people are doing these days. Don't support the phonies. Support the real. I'm into my space now where I'm letting go of that, and I just got to be good with me. And, you know, I, I made a decision in that and on my birthday that I was going to be free. I was going to do all this stuff I wanted to do. As much as we wish our partners ever heard us, as much as we wish that they came into relationships with no flaws, relationships really are about self-discovery, believe it or not. I would go, Will, throw away everything that's happening in the outside world. Your career, everything. 
and it's just me and you on a on an island. Damn. What do we have? I was unaware of what it meant to truly connect with somebody. I've never met anybody like you, and I knew if I wasn't with you, I'd be searching in vain for the rest of my life. The greatest motivator and asset for me with you is your absolute refusal to accept anything from me other than the best that I could possibly be.